Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So this might be the last video I've done today. This is my fourth video today because I got four decks today. So this one I have seen. I did not know it was mass market. Walked in my local metaphysical shop today and there it was. And I'm like, I need this deck. And um, I've said this in one of the other videos, but it is the End Dreams Oracle Deck and Guidebook by Boris Indrakov. Uh, inspired by ancient forms of dream divination, Russian fantasy artist Boris Indrikov has created a uniquely captivating oracle deck. The beguiling artwork blends Boris's signature surrealist flair with an art nouveau elements that draw in the reader and ignite the imagination. The deck's 40 main cards are divided into four color suits, with each group corresponding to a natural element and a sphere of human life. There is also a bonus Joker card to help you connect with your intuition. The illustrated 56-page guidebook offers empowering quotes and oracle, oracular, oracular advice. It is published by U.S. Games. And it's another kind of synchronicity that I found this specific deck when I went in there. Because I, I if you guys watch my channel for any length of time, I have dreams all the time. A lot. I have a lot of premonistic, premonistic dreams. I have a lot of like warning dreams. Um, and a couple weeks ago I dreamed, um, and it's funny because he is from Russia or he is Russian. He's a Russian artist. A couple weeks ago or a few weeks ago now, I dreamed of that I was in some kind of eclectic antique shop, something. It, it had a tarot deck in there and it was Drew, Drew Craft tarot deck. And, um, I was like, eh, I'll, I'm not going to get it. I, I don't really need it. I don't, it's not really calling to me. I don't need it. So I left it and I walked outside and I was in, um, I think Moscow. And I just knew that's where I was when I was in the dream. So I find that interesting. And then and like a few days later, I had the dream again, the same place. But this time I was with my sister-in-law and I actually saw the deck and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go buy it. I went to buy it. And the guy sold it out from under me. Like, he had already sold it to someone else that was coming in to get it. And I'm like, no. It was like this foam moment in my dream. But then, again, me and uh, or my sister-in-law and I walked outside and after that. And we were still in Moscow. And I'm like, okay. Never been there before. Probably never going to go there in my life. So, I just found it weird. And then um, I went into my local metaphysical shop today. Saw this. And this, but what was more crazy is the Druid Craft kind of has stalked me the last few weeks since those dreams. And I was telling them to the owner of the metaphysical shop, and she goes, You know what? That's hilarious because the Druid Craft was my very first deck. It's a deck I learned tarot on. Um, I've had it for 30 years. <laughs> she goes, And if she goes, It's my favorite deck of all time. She goes, And if you told me, asked me yesterday where that deck was, I couldn't have told you. She said, but this morning I walked into the shop, went into, something told me to go in this filing cabinet to look for something, and there was the deck sitting there. She goes, so it was kind of like a warning, or not a warning, but like a, hey, here I am, work with me. And I thought that was very, uh, just the whole thing was crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm talking about dreams, and then we see this deck, and yeah, it was just crazy. Oh, look at this. Look, there's the book. Nice little book here. Gives you a little bit of info. And I feel like everything just went really dark on me. I have good oracle size cards. And beautiful bags. They're typical U.S. Games card stock. I love it. I'm just going to run through these real quick. Because there's no keywords on the cards. Just the number and the images. See if I zoom in a little bit. There we are. Here there's one, two, and there's a lot going on in here. Beautiful. Three, and they're color coded. Four, love that. Five. Six and 
this is weird and strange and if you guys have watched my channel you know i dig the weird and strange seven but it's also gorgeous eight nine beautiful Ooh, ten look at the different patterns with the color coded that's cool eleven yeah nice 12, 13, 14, 15, that reminds me of the Empress, 16, wow, 17, beautiful, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, ooh, 23, look at that, just gorgeous, 24, 25, Ooh, that's a lion there. That's cool. 26. That gives me the strength card vibes from the tarot. 27. Get an oxen. 28. It's a cow. 29. There's these are very dreamlike. And I you know what? This would go I bet fantastic with the dreamscapes tarot. 30. Is it our oh, Dream Keepers Tarot? Dream Keepers Tarot, yeah. 31. That's cool. It looks like a dragony seahorse thing. 32. 33. 34. 35. It's like a weird fish, but it's very intricate design. 36, 37, kind of again, like a dragony thing here with horns, maybe a cow. 38, 39, 40. And the bonus card, do what you must and come what may, card 41. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Let's see how it shuffles. And I almost can't get my hands around it. Any longer, I would not be able to do that. And they're a little shiny to be able to riffle. Uh, but they can shuffle this way. Fabulous. So let's pull it back up here and pull a card and see what the book says. Yep, there we go. Let me ruffle shuffle that time. They are a little glossy, like a hair glossy, so they're a little slidey. But there's one trying to fly out. That is number 34. Let's see what the dream book says. And it is literally just little tiny keywords here and then a phrase. Let's see if we got any. Here's an introduction to the In Dreams Oracle deck. How to use In Dreams Oracle cards. And then it goes right into the card. So there's no, let's see, there's no spreads. About the artist, which is cool. And then right into the card. So it's virtually just enough for the card. So card 34, dream, fire, action. Soldier on, luck is on your side. And then there's a uh, quote by Benjamin Franklin. Either write something worth reading Oh my God. Or do something worth writing. Are you freaking kidding me? So I am a writer. Um, last three years I've kind of been on, like I have nothing to write. Like nothing has come to mind. I've actually in school and every time I go to do a assignment for writing, I have, there's nothing, nothing. Uh, when I was writing, I've got two books on Amazon, uh, 
all kinds of stuff prior to three years ago. And then, um, I had a, uh, falling out with my best friend. We haven't spoken since it's been almost four years since we spoke and it's just like craziness. Um, it's like she took my mojo with her for writing when she left. So I find that very interesting because I've been getting that again here lately where it's like, write something, write something now, anything, anything, just write. So I find that very interesting that that's the card that came up. That's deep. And I got all over chills right now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do, but that is crazy. Um, so yeah, that's my latest deck. The uh in dreams oracle deck and guidebook um if you have any comments about this deck or questions or concerns let me know in the comments below um especially with the what happened at the bookstore my dream do you think that was a synchronicity do you think that was a message for her because she certainly does um and hopefully the stalking of me with the drug craft will be over now but let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And y'all have a good night. Bye.